Hey everyone. Uh, <laughs> today we are going to be playing Black Ops 3's Nocturne Toten, but more revamped, I would say. See, Noct has always been a special map to many people across who have played zombies. But one disappointment across Noct that most people felt was the fact that it really wasn't that close to the original. It was a great improvement overall compared to the Black Ops 1 and World of War versions in terms of looks. But in terms of feels and the weapons within the game or the map, it just felt off, you know? All the futuristic weapons and how it just felt too colorful. What this mod does, it changes up not only the weapons for the map, but also the lighting and special stuff like that. Just little quality of life updates, just like how this zombie is running. <laughs> Look, and the models have been changed to be more like the ones from World War II zombies. Now, as bad as it may be, we can admit that it did have some good spots to it, to the game mode. Now, me personally, I don't like Knock that much, even though it was one of the first few maps I played, if not the first map. Oh yeah, it definitely was my first map, now I remember. So, back then, I was a, pretty much a toddler. World of War was definitely my first Zombies game. It wasn't my first COD, but it was my first Zombies. And I remember playing Noct and I wasn't scared. I <laughs> Surprisingly enough, it wasn't that scary. It was just like, alright, okay, Zombies, here we go. But I, what I was terrified of back then was the Reese. I don't know why, but my, my inner person, my toddler self, just like was deathly afraid of the Reese. I think it was because of the loading screen and seeing the finger and eyeball. That might have scared me, <laughs> but I don't know. I just felt like the Reese was... I could just tell from an instance that the Reese was the better map. <laughs> and I could tell Mule Kick isn't even here, which I don't mind because, what, there isn't really that many great weapons to get on this map. No offense, but like, it's knocked. It's not like we're playing, I don't know, Kino or Ascension. <laughs> oh, I just realized the music is changed. There is like subtle background music in... Well, look, just take a listen. I don't know, that, that's just... That's... I really enjoy that. There's just some random background music that doesn't interfere with the setting of the map at all. If anything, it adds to the aesthetic, I'd say. I almost, I th For a second, I thought like an easter egg song played. I was like, what the? What am I? <laughs> oh. So yeah, so there's like this new little animation with the fire with coming off this power-up. And <laughs> just look at that, we got a new. Oh my god, we're getting every- Dude, I swear I don't have a Gobblegum active. Like, you can look. There, there's not even a Gobblegum machine to begin with. Yeah. What the- <laughs> This is how they replace the Gobblegum machine? They just put, like, some random box? Okay, uh, that's whatever. Okay, now what determines the noobs from the greater players is depending on what door you bought. Uh, I always bought the help door. I'd, I'd always like camping up there. But also, I really didn't like it when zombies came down here. So, oh. We might have to open the door now. Unless we're gamers. We got two double points. Okay, never mind. We have to open the door. <laughs> oh yeah, one thing that... I'm just like... I get why they removed it. But at the same time, I'm just like, why? Why did you remove it? I don't get why they replaced all the Nazi symbols with the Iron Cross. It's as if it's still World War One. <laughs> Like, this helps make it feel you're in a World War II setting. Oh, and we got the Mosin. Now, from what I remember, this is pretty much like the R98, but slightly better, if not worse. <laughs> there isn't, there wasn't really much of a difference. I guess just like aesthetic differences, but besides that, yeah. All right, let's set the box again. I did see the Reagan in there and it got kind of excited. Does it looked pretty good. Alrighty then. What am I going to get from the box? The M1 Garand. Alright. Ooh, I really like that sound. Okay. <laughs> there's another box to replace that gobblegum machine. And there's the scoped Car 98K. The trench gun. 
I don't know. I I personally did enjoy D Machine, but there's something about Knock which I can definitely understand why some people would say this is a good map. But me personally, the slow zombies at the beginning just kills the progression of this map to me, at least. It's just way too dang slow, at least comparing it to literally every other map in the series. <laughs> now one thing I did have an issue is the fact that the weapons don't sound as powerful as they should, you know, as they should sound. Like in Battlefield, they sound powerful as that. But then, like, Battlefield weapons just sound great. Too bad the latest Battlefield game was terrible. <laughs> it was just terrible. It's the best way to describe it. Oh, we gotta get up to the penthouse. <laughs> I don't know, when I pictured a, I guess like a reimagined Noct, I didn't picture this door being open and the entire bunker being open. And us being able to actually go in front of here. Which we did, but, you know, wasn't the same. <laughs> it just felt completely different. Which, I get, that's what they were going for. But, uh, I, I really didn't, did not enjoy Cold War's direction of where they're taking the series. Like, I'm, it's fine. I really thought D-Machine was a great start and they could improve upon that. But they never really did. The only, like, quote-unquote improvement they did was on Mauer, but even then, it's just, it's, it's an okay map. <laughs> It's, it's an above average map. There's nothing really special to it besides the Wonder Weapon. The setting just, it could have been great. It's literally at the Berlin Wall, but you know, they ruined it with, oh look, another freaking Requiem bunker. Requiem slash Omega facility. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we got the SVT. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That was a close one. We didn't, that would have been Absolutely terrible if I just died there. Now, I don't really have a goal in mind for what round I want to get to. Ooh, let's go. We got the ray gun. Bro, look how nice this looks. Oh my god. This ray gun looks amazing. Alright, let's get the trench gun. See how it sounds. I know it's the World War II one, but uh... No offense, but I prefer the World at War trench gun so much more. There's just something about it. It's like, alright, let's see how powerful this ray gun is. Oh, it's, okay, it's pretty strong and it... The freaking shake effect is huge. I noticed the crosshairs are really weird. Kind of like Xbox crosshairs, but uh, it's okay. Wait, I don't remember getting an MP40. Okay, I, <laughs> I guess I did. All right, is there like a thunder gun on this? I'm assuming not because this is like supposed to be like the World of War version, but revamped. But who knows? We're barely on round nine or round 10 now. I don't know. This feels different. I feel like they made the zombies slightly faster compared to the normal version in Noct. Because I vividly remember Noct World of War and BO1 and BO3 even just being so dang slow. Like it was terrible. Alright, let's see what the Thompson is. Alright, some models for the Vanguard versions did look good. I'm not gonna lie. I, like, I think I prefer the Thompson from Vanguard compared to, to the World War II version. But uh, yeah. I, I still can't get over how great this freaking Reagan looks. Oh my god. I wish I could just port this over. It's like having aesthetically pleasing Reagan. <laughs> Although there are some problems with it. I see like there isn't a light to the counter on the side of their gun. That's whatever. Me personally, I don't think I'm going to be dying anytime soon. So I'll probably get to like round 15 and just like stop. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just want to say, while I have the chance, that uh, thank you everyone for uh, getting my history speedrun history videos to 1k views and for all the support that pretty much Lux's reactions have given me. Because without without the reactions, my videos were... <laughs> they, they had no views. They had no watch hours. I had like 100 subs and I don't know if I could have gone anywhere. But uh, this gives... The reactions and the support given from the reaction has given me hope. Me, I, I want to make more long form videos that are greatly edited. But uh, I, so far, I don't know if I have the time at the moment because I'm not monetized at all. I still need to get my watch hours and I still need to get my subscribers, which is a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Until then, I... I can't see myself doing long form content until then because it's just like putting in all the all that effort for literally no pay <laughs> and it, it kind of sucks because I want to see the videos pay off <laughs> some way because it did suck seeing my speedrun history videos get 
what before the reactions a hundred views on the mom the dead one and 400 for the first day and never really growing past that if you do if you would like to see more long form content then please comment because that will make me alert <laughs> of like what kind of stuff you'd want to see but until then i'll be making more short form content kind of like the like these commentary videos and also just like a bunch of random videos that are just easier and shorter to make but uh it doesn't mean i will make some videos like ranking whatever or showing a bunch of stuff it just means i won't make 30 minute greatly edited videos i'll still be doing speed runs which i don't think you guys really care for that much but uh for those who do care let's see you care also once i do get monetized i would love to branch out into other content because i i've always had wanted to make different content in mind I'll still be doing zombies, but I just want to do like a ton of stuff, like stuff on animation, stuff on uh, just like random parts of the internet. Kind of lost media stuff or even horror videos as well. It's, I've always wanted to do that and I've really enjoyed those type of videos as well. Like I've per I per me personally, I have some inspiration on from certain people who have done that. I'll reveal those in the next video, but yeah. It is something of some videos i've always wanted to do bro these weapons are too good i'm, I'm not gonna die I, <laughs> i'm about to get to my goal around 15 anyways all right let's get it over with shaking my head i guess i'm just that good i'm, I, I'm a oh i'm a <laughs> no i know it's the ray gun freaking dude surprisingly this is sniper is still one shot i didn't expect it to be Yes, I got a red screen. Doesn't mean I'll die. All right, we got the wave round completed. And uh, keep in mind, we will be doing some more uh, videos with uh, including the zombie blood rush series and just like other stuff with uh, with my friends. I find those videos to be really fun and I'll try to edit more on those videos. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm pretty busy with uh, school. But uh, yeah, if I continue to see you guys supporting me, then I'll give it my all. <laughs> I got to round 15. I don't feel the need to go any further. So let's just game end ourselves. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short commentary video. Um, yeah, <laughs> see ya.